Welcome everybody back to the figure kit garage fellow resin heads and kit builders Brent Krug back with another out-of-the-box review uh, This kit came to me from mr. John Diaz of resin realities and was a part of his May superhero sale that he had uh, going uh, just shortly before uh, Louisville Wonderfest uh, This kit is perhaps one of the many superhero kits that I always wanted that nobody had ever done before when I first got into the hobby and Finally got a hold of him. This is Peter Rasputin Member of the X-Men also known as Colossus This kit is a one-fifth scale piece cast in six off-white resin parts this was originally released by Coma Designs, I believe, back in the late 1990s, early 2000s, and was sculpted by Sean Nagel. Uh, for those of you who don't know who Colossus is, um, Colossus is a character that's been around since 1975 when he first appeared in the Giant Size X-Men. For those of you that are my age, uh, if you remember the giant size comic books back in the day, you know exactly what I'm talking about, how big those things were. You could read them forever. But Colossus um, is a fan favorite among many. And he has made at least two appearances in the original uh, Patrick Stewart, Hugh Jackman X-Men films, uh, specifically... X2 X-Men United and X-Men 3 The Last Stand as well as X-Men Days of Future Past but more recently he was Wade Wilson's seven foot conscience in Deadpool 1 and Deadpool 2 so we're going to take a look at this kit and this will be a fairly quick review and I got to admit this kit is really really nicely done For it being a one-fifth scale kit, I can see this actually fitting well with uh, some of the Horizon 1 six scale kits. Uh, Colossus is supposed to be over seven feet in height when he's uh, fully transformed because he can turn his body into an organic steel, which makes him uh, damn near indestructible, uh, gives him superhuman strength and endurance. And we'll start off with his legs. Now this kit comes with no base whatsoever. So I'm already banging head ideas around inside my head. Um, specifically the danger room comes to mind. Uh, his feet will have to be sanded a little bit. They're not uh, perfectly smooth, but that's all right. But the sculpting on this by Sean is incredible. And I'll try to bring the camera in a little bit closer here. There have been a lot of uh, custom quarter scale pieces that I've seen of Colossus that have been rendered really nicely. But Sean, uh, for all his talent, did an excellent job of bringing this particular superhero to life. And this is based on the classic X-Men outfit that he wears. And he will have uh, knee pad covers here and here and... This is them, nicely attached to the resin sprues. I have to trim those off, glue them on, seam them, and that'll look really slick. Let's see if I can find something to <laughs> prop him up with a little bit, because I tried fitting him together the other day, and it just seemed like a disaster waiting to happen. So... I guarantee he's not keyed in any way, shape, or form. This is an old school resin kit. I'm going to have to drill and pin him. And that's okay. And these six pieces will comprise the legs, the upper body, the arms are already attached, as is the head. So you have the entire upper body, the hands with the gauntlets, and the knee pads. So... Let me bring the upper body into the camera here. Nicely sculpted outfit. Just the basic uh, outfit he wore with the X-Men for all the years. Oops. Camera bump. I apologize. 
and again camera bump beautifully sculpted detail be a lot of fun to render him lots of shadowing especially on the uh, where the areas are going to be silver very stoic angry looking expression but what do you expect from Colossus he's Russian and <laughs> as I said I have to tilt this thing at a really odd angle just to get the look of him from the waist up and he measures at 14 and 3 quarter inches tall when fully assembled. Uh, this, whatever diorama I'm going to do for this, this thing's going to be massive, to say the least. I'm thinking uh, Danger Room uh, is one possibility. About the only thing I could actually think of, because it just suits the character so well. Oh, he's actually going to stand. Well, miracles never cease. Now watch, I open my mouth and he's going to fall off. And then we bring in the two hands with the gauntlets. This will be a relatively quick review. There's his right hand. Beautiful detail around the knuckles. And his outfit is primarily a red and yellow color. There's nothing outlandish about it. Bring the light back over here a little bit so you guys can see him just a little bit better. There we go. This is a big kit. <laughs> John said he was big. Boy, he was not kidding. And then the closed fisted left hand. There we go. Sean really captured the spirit of this character and the hands will fit on. It's like so for the left hand. Yep. I knew that was bound to happen sooner or later. Not going to take that chance. And then uh, keep bumping the camera. And then the right hand will fit on just like so. I'll probably have to sand down the insides of the gauntlets a little bit. The castings are really, really well done. Uh, very minor to almost no seam line work to speak of. Um, this is not the only uh, kit that was uh, done by Coma Designs back in the day. John has uh, several of the Hulks, including the Rampaging Hulk, which I've had my eye on for quite a few years. Um, 13 inches tall with a 13 inch wide uh, stance um, I decided to jump on Colossus because this was one I've been wanting for a long time I've always liked the character um, I just wish somebody would do a Colossus and a Wolverine doing the fastball special if any sculptors are out there listening look up fastball special and give it a shot I'd be in for that and if you don't know what a fastball special is look it up it's one of the greatest things ever done for a comic believe me so that is it for this overview of the colossus uh i want to thank everybody and i'll before i go any further i'll leave uh links to john diaz's uh ebay store he goes by jaco35 on ebay and i'll also leave a link for resin realities in the comments below uh, this kit on his eBay store goes for $154.99 with $30 shipping. I was able to get this um, during the May Superhero Sale. Altogether, I paid $143.15. So really, really decent price for a uh, one-fifth scale kit like this, especially uh, one that has not been out for a really, really long time. Like a lot of the Coma Designs kits, they've been out of production for years. John acquired the rights to uh, quite a few of them. Two Hulks, the Colossus, and I believe the uh, Hercules uh, was another one that uh, Coma Designs had released years ago. Um, but yeah, look, him, uh, look those kits up on uh, eBay. They're not available on Resin Realities, but John does have quite a few uh, other amazing kits on his uh, Resin Realities website. 
Uh, these were only available uh, through the 26th of May. And I got this on the 21st. And I got it this past Monday. Um, yeah. Look these kits up on and, so, and the other ones he has on eBay. He's got a lot of good kits up for grabs. Morbius, The Living Vampire. I believe The Absorbing Man was another one. Uh, three different Hulks. Last I looked. He has quite a few superhero kits in stock on his eBay store. So uh, give those a look-see. You might find something that you like. Get a hold of John. He won't go. He won't do your own. Um, on another note, I want to thank everybody that's tuned in for the work in progress that I've been doing on the Punisher. Um, I really appreciate all the comments, uh, all the likes. Um, 218 subscribers now. I'm extremely satisfied with the way things are going with the channel. And we're almost to the end of the road on that one. All I have left is uh, just to do the shell casings, which the work in progress for that, I believe, is going to be this Saturday night. Um, or possibly tomorrow night. It's Thursday now. Probably do that on Friday. Virginia had to go in for surgery earlier today, so I've been uh, taking care of other things and trying to get caught up on my sleep. So once she gets home tomorrow, get her settled in, I'll be able to finish that up and then do the uh, final reveal but the the Punisher I am really ecstatic about how he's turning out so hopefully I'll get that done by tomorrow night and get it uploaded by Saturday also want to give a big shout out to Mr. Kendall Conniff who donated a prize pack to Model Club TV that was given away uh, in this most recent episode episode 24 that I won and when I get that, I may have to do a quick little video showing you guys what was in the box. If you guys didn't see the, if you guys saw the video, you know what's in there. If not, yeah, I'll share. It's some cool stuff. Magnets, uh, sculpted replacement head for the Aurora Witch, T-shirt, and a uh, Lunar Models uh, catalog, which I think is probably one of the most awesome things I think I've seen in years. I haven't seen one in a long time. So check out model club tv their newest episode was up it's uh their wonder fest show and tell and i'm actually uh, pretty envious of those guys i want to go to a wonder fest and just never seem to get the opportunity but i will trust me it's coming so once again this has been the colossus kit review from john diaz and resin realities Again, thank you to all my subscribers, those who have uh, stuck with me through all this. Thank you for keeping the channel alive and keeping me going. So everybody out there, enjoy your upcoming weekend. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. Build a kit.